Hi, this is Sage of the Stage, vocal coach, musician, singer, songwriter, and thanks so much for clicking on this video. Nowadays, people are so busy, so it really does mean a lot to me that you took some time out of your day to watch this video with me. Today, I'm checking out Dimash, the story of One Sky. It's uh, apparently a song, but it's very long. It's about 13 minutes long, so I have a feeling it's more like a movie or something. I've scrolled a bit through it, but I haven't listened before, so this is my first time. Let's go check it out together. Creative Center. Dimash Kudai Perken. Requiem. That's a uh, mass for the dead. So this... <laughs> it feels a bit scary. No, 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 no. Come on, live. Live. <coughs> okay. Whew. Already goosebumps for some reason. I'm. Ooh. I'm a bit emotional these days. <laughs> So even just the thing like this. Composer Dimash Kudepengen, author of the text Lily, uh, Lilia, I didn't catch the last name. I'm gonna get back to it, maybe later. What's that? For some reason I expected this to be in Russian or something, but it's in English and it sounds wonderful. Dimash is getting better and better with every day. Um, when it comes to his English pronunciation, this is perfect. And I really like the breathiness. Ooh, it's so soft and with these orchestral instruments, it just sounds perfect. Um, usually, you know, like singers that uh, perform with orchestral instruments are kind of, well, mo they're trying to give us a lot of volume in their tone, in their vocal tone, uh, usually like classical singers, opera singers, but they much taken a completely different approach, making it so soft. And I really like that. Billions of hearts, billions of cells and souls and trips. He's weeping. Billions of lives should endeavor to do as a horror so As a ruler, my task is to keep order and protect my country, but I don't deprive you of your freedom. The world is open for me, and I want to give it to you. You must be strong. 
So everything that I've seen so far and heard, I'm guessing that uh, this is about Kazakhstan, uh, the war and their choosing life, Dimash is singing, uh, marvelous singing by Dimash. I mean, I've listened to this guy so many times and I'm still surprised about some of the things that he can do. You know, I wasn't too, uh, I wasn't too like uh, surprised when I've heard his very deep, very sensual breath, you know, but he's going upwards and he's made, he's finally, you know, like, I think he's reaching his top level because he's singing these higher notes with so, so much ease and with so much balance in the dynamics, you know, he's not pushing them at all. He's not even pushing uh, for them to be louder and uh, I don't know how much you understand about vocal, uh, sing about singing, but it's um, it's harder to sing quiet. It's harder to sing quiet, sustained notes and to be completely correct in pitch. And this is exactly what Dimash is doing, especially on this kind of a semi-high note for him. I mean, it's basically his middle register, but still, it it's easier to sing this a bit more beltier, with a bit more energy. It's super hard to sing this soft and like emotional like Dimash is doing, but man, oof, he's doing a great War job. is the way to unite people. Don't you share again, don't you share again the love not share. Going deep. We are choosing life. Ooh. It's interesting seeing Dimash in acting. Like He's becoming a great actor as well, not just a singer. And uh, what I wanted to say with this one, he started with a deeper register here. And interesting hearing him switch all of this up. Uh, Piper's falling. I'm guessing that those are some kind of bombs. I'm not really familiar with the term. I've, I've Googled it, but this is what I'm getting. Like Piper's falling. People like bagpipe sing, uh, players, but I'm not really sure if that's what they're referring to. Maybe they are. I thought like pipers were some kind of bombs. I'm guessing, I, I, I really don't know. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. I don't want to say something that's completely off. But yeah, before I continue, I just want to say that I absolutely freaking hate war. I mean, people are profiting on some crazy things around the world, but war is definitely the worst possible thing somebody can make money off and, you know, start a conflict just to, 
you know, for financial gain. It's sad, it's stupid, and people are the ones who have to pay with their lives, and it's it's just incredibly useless, and there has to be a better way. We are so stupid if that's the only way that we can communicate. And I know that some parts are having to defend themselves, and that's another thing. That's, you know, that's a different thing. But starting a war, and if you want to hear my thoughts about war in general, I've actually written a song called Only a Fool Would Start a New War, and I'm dead serious about that. You can listen to it up here. Let me know your thoughts. I think you would actually enjoy the lyrics. Dimash's Arabic style. This is amazing. Dimash, come on. You can hear the pain in Dimash's voice. This is crazy. I just want to say that I appreciate every single person working on this video on and on this song. Too many people, you can read in the description, I'm going to copy and paste everybody that's been working on this video. Imagine how many people have to work together to make such a story powerful visually and vocally. I mean, Dima, not just vocally, musically. Uh, Dimash, um, just, he's a very unique, the uniquest singer in the world and he's definitely a very powerful instrument for sharing messages like this and just leaving space for him to do a vocalize to sing in this arabic style on an vo you know ah vowel and just letting his soul out this I, I think that most of that was just improvised but it sounded so perfectly painful and that's what the song is kind of needing and Oof, I'm, I've gotten goosebumps everywhere, everywhere.
nobody can kill Dimash. Damn it. So is this kind of a, like, a, what's the term? Reincarnation? It's just raw singing, uh, raw screaming. That's a P for Pipers, right? So Pipers are... The Kazakhs army or something. Look at Dimash. Something like a shepherd. Like a wise man. I can, I can definitely see Dimash doing some like, you know, action movies. Imagine Dimash and Jackie Chan. <laughs> that would be crazy. Jackie is kind of a bit dialogue, understanding and uh, okay, I'm going to pause it to, to read it. Dialogue, understanding and uh, widespread promoting of a culture of tolerance, acceptance of others and of living together peacefully would contribute significant, uh, significantly to reducing many economic, social, political and environmental problems that weigh so heavily on a large part of humanity. Couldn't agree more. dialogue exactly that's what i was saying like in the middle of the song if we can't solve things with talking then we're screwed i think that's all that's all wow Dimash, not only is he a great singer, he's a great person for doing stuff like this, for doing songs that mean more than just having fun, that mean more than just uh, appreciating his vocal acrobatics, which are amazing, and I really love them. But he's uh, actually trying to change stuff. He's actually like fighting for things that are worth fighting for. And um, I've said it a million times and I definitely respect Dimash in every single way and this just makes me respect him even more and the more power to him, you know, more power to him as they say. I hope you enjoyed this video. It, it was a bit, you know, stressful because it's a kind of a hard topic to talk about. War in general is something that, <sighs> just listen to my song and you will understand what I'm talking about. I really don't want to, I, I really hate talking about it because I really think it's, the worst thing that can happen in any planet like just i'm gonna stop myself here if you enjoyed this video like it share it around with your friends i think that youtube is currently not really recommending these videos um in russia because of the war happening with ukraine and um that's kind of why my Dimash videos and I think Dimash's videos in general are not being pushed to the Russian speaking countries. So maybe if you know somebody that's uh, maybe not in Russia or tell your Russian friends to use a VPN if they want to watch our reactions and watch Dimash's songs. Uh, because um, even they, especially nowadays, I think need some music to, to try to 
calm what's happening in their minds and what's happening around them because you know i don't i it's hard to even imagine what everybody's going through and i think if we can help even just a bit even just ease uh, ease 15 minutes of their life everyday life that's where it's trying so yeah that's what i want to say today thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye